video is a basic introduction to simple circuit construction. It follows a project example of a simple circuit which consists of a button when pushed that activates an LED and a speaker. Before beginning to analyze the circuit, I wanted to look at each circuit element. Over here you have a 9 volt battery with the positive and negative sides labeled. These are just called the positive and negative terminals of the battery. And usually the battery just supplies current to the rest of the circuit. These lines are just wires. SW1 over here is essentially just a switch. And a switch, when pushed, connects these wires. And when it isn't pushed, these wires are disconnected. R3 is a 330 ohm resistor. And essentially what a resistor does is reduce current. D1 over here is an LED and it just emits light. Speaker 1 is just a speaker. This triangle down here is ground. Essentially ground is just a reference, so imagine ground is just being zero volts. Now we've gotten to the point where we want to build a circuit in real life, but how do we do that? Usually we start with a breadboard, and a breadboard is just a lot of pins, which are just little holes you see. And these holes are just places where you can plug your wires into. If you notice, there's a red line here, and what this red line means is that these pins are all connected. So this pin is connected to that one and that one and so on. And essentially the color red indicates that this should be where you plug in your positive side of the battery into. So you can plug, you can plug your positive side of the battery into any of these pins and it'll work. And moving on, the other red line is the same as the one on this side. So all these pins are connected and this is where you should plug your battery into. And the blue line is similar. The blue line is for the negative side of the battery, and all these pins are connected, and this is where you want to plug in your negative side of the battery. And the same goes for here. What's important about these two different lines is that this, these pins are not connected to these pins. So if I plug in the positive side of the battery to here, and the negative side of the battery here, they won't be connected. Also, these pins over here are not connected to these pins over here. And same goes, goes for these pins over here and these ones over here. Now looking at the interior of the breadboard, you'll notice these rows. These rows are all pins that are connected. So these pins are connected, these pins are connected, these pins are connected, and so on. Same goes for this side. But these pins, this pin over here, are not connected, is not connected to this one. And this one is not connected to this one. And you'll notice this is because of this little like gap here. So if you plug something into here, don't expect it to be connected to something into here. Additionally, there's these little columns. This row is not connected to this row. So if I plug something into here, it won't be connected to something into here. So I ended up modifying the circuit just a little bit. And essentially what I've done is this resistor over here, I've made this into a wire and I've made the resistor go over here now. So this is a 330 ohm resistor, and essentially if you look at this diagram, it's right here. So this, why it's here is because if you look at this, this is the positive side of the battery. The positive side of the battery is here. It connects directly to the resistor. And remember that this rail is all connected. So if this, this, is, this resistor is connected directly to the positive side of the battery. So we've done this portion of the circuit so far. If you look at the switch, this how the switch works is that when you this part of the switch is disconnected from this part of the switch when the button isn't pushed. So essentially I have this resistor going into here, which is essentially this part of the switch, and this other part of the switch is supposed to go to the rest of the circuit. So let's look at the rest of the circuit, essentially. So if you look at this, you'll notice that the LED goes from wherever the switch is, so this is the other side of the switch, right here, and it goes over, it's supposed to go all the way back, it's connected to the negative side of the battery and ground. So usually just say when something is grounded, when it's connected to the negative side of the battery. So we want to ground the LED. So we have the LED going from the switch to here, and the wire over here connects it to ground, so it's grounded. Moving on to the speaker. 
the speaker, you want it to be connected to the switch. So it's connected to the switch by this yellow wire. And then you also want it to be grounded because of this entire thing. You want it to be grounded. If you notice, this wire goes over here, but like, how didn't we say before that this wasn't connected to the negative side of the battery? Well, I've fixed that by connecting a wire down here. So usually this side isn't connected, but because of this wire, it is this time. And that's basically the rundown of how the circuit is. And I'll show you how it turned out in a second.